Belfast, Northern Ireland. Welcome, fight fans, as we start a new era in Bellator history. That's the crane that built the Titanic. The background is SEC Arena, and we are here for an incredible night of fights. Once known as the toughest tournament in sports, Bellator MMA, as part of the PFL, is now regarded as the industry co-leader. We bring it championship zone. Let's go! Over the past 15 years, Bellator has established a global footprint, holding 300 plus events and delivering some of MMA's most memorable moments. It's all over. Rewind to Bellator 58 when an unknown Michael Chandler upset champion Eddie Alvarez in an epic lightweight battle. He hurt him bad. Chandler let him go. Alvarez in all sorts of trouble. A fight that most consider one of the greatest of all time. And we have a new champion. The fight of the year. Unbelievable performance by both fighters. It was in that moment that Bellator was launched into the mainstream, becoming a legitimate rival to the UFC. From there, the Bellator cage has traveled the world and become home to some of the sport's greatest highlights. Brought to you by the sport's greatest names. He is the best. Make no mistake. From legendary nights to million-dollar paydays, Bellator MMA has generated huge headlines, none bigger than when they joined forces with the Professional Fighters League in 2023. It is happening. This is all really happening. Fast forward to tonight as the promotion kicks off the Bellator Champion Series. And who better to get the party started than Corey Overtime Anderson, who looks to capture the vacant light heavyweight title. Corey Anderson has punched his own ticket to a world title fight. And Bellator's ageless pound for pound goat, Patricio Pitbull, who defends his featherweight strap. You want your big key? You're gonna have to kill me. The Bellator Champion Series will consist of eight total events. Each of those events will feature two world title fights and a number one contender bout, which means that Bellator's star studded roster will be on full display in 2024. The PFL and Bellator MMA changing the game. One fight at a time. It's a new era in Bellator history, and we are so happy to be part of it. Starting it off in Belfast, Northern Ireland, Bellator Champion Series will be streaming all over the world with great partners. And in case you missed, you made a very special announcement yesterday. Max will be the home, the exclusive streaming home of Bellator Champion Series in the United States. Eight global events, two title fights on every card, all on max. We finished the year in Saitama, Japan. From here in Belfast, we go to Paris, then Dublin, San Diego, London, Chicago, back to the City of Lights. It's going to be a phenomenal year for Bellator Champion Series. And of course, it's all about tomorrow night and the unbelievable card we have on deck. Corey Anderson and Carl Moore for a vacant light heavyweight title and Patricio Pitbull making his long awaited return to defend the featherweight strap against Jeremy Kennedy. Sean O'Connell, Dan Hardy, Liam McCourt. If you're sick of me and Dan because of our PFL duties, bad news because we're here on Bellator duty now and very happy to be so. Leah, you've been part of the Bellator family for a long time. We start a whole new thing, the Bellator Champion Series, an incredible card tomorrow night. Yeah, welcome to sunny Belfast. Uh, this card is stacked from top to bottom. I am so excited to see my old teammate, Carl Moore, fight for the light heavyweight title. This is his chance to shine. He's been waiting a long time. He hasn't had that opportunity. He's a big underdog, but I really believe he'll get the job done in Belfast on Friday night. Well, you've got that vacant light heavyweight strap. And then, of course, the return of Pitbull. We've been looking for this at featherweight. He's been all over. He's been bouncing weight classes. Now he's here to defend at 145. One of the scariest and most decorated fighters in all of mixed martial arts, let alone Bellator. And the fact that we've got him here in Belfast for these fans and the fact that he's taking on Kennedy, what a fight that's going to be. 
Let's take a little bit of a closer look at this light heavyweight title fight. 205 pound belt up for grabs. up at 205 pounds. Leah, I want to start with you. Let's talk Carl Moore. This is somebody you know, this is somebody you train with. This is someone who's representing the local contingent, so to speak, and he does so in a main event title fight. What should we expect from Carl? Carl is so light on his feet. He's got unbelievable jiu-jitsu. We've seen him in tough five-round title fights before. He's got the cardio, he's got the conditioning, and I feel like he hasn't had that opportunity to show what he can do, and I think, I really think he could pull the upset off on Friday night. Well, a tough test because Corey Overtime Anderson has fought some of the best in the world. He has beat some of the best in the world. He beat Ryan Bader here in Bellator. This guy, though, has never had that gold strap around his waist. He can taste it. It's tomorrow night his best chance. It may well be. We know what kind of fighter Corey Anderson is. He gets better every time we see him. He's a relentless, high-pressure fighter. He's got great boxing. We know he's got that good wrestling to back it up. The question is, does he want to deal with the submission skills of Cole Moore if it hits the floor? I think we might get a striking battle, and that's boxing versus kickboxing on Cole Moore's side. It's a fascinating fight, this one. That main event by itself is a good enough reason for you to watch the entire card. But I want to show you what else we have on deck in Belfast. Bellator Champion Series will open with an amateur catchweight bout. From there, don't sleep on these two heavyweights that are early in their careers, Abraham Badley and Isaiah Pinson. Those are going to be main event fighters sometime soon. Nathan Kelly, Vikas Singh-Ruhil, Luke Trainer, Grant Neal, Alfie Davis, Oscar Owensworth. In a feature advance weight, you got Kieran Clark and Darius Maffey. From there, we will move on to our main card. Remember, this is streaming with our new exclusive partner in the United States on Max. Tim Wilde, Manuel Sosa, James Gallagher, Leandro Ego, and then look at that. Number one contender fight, Fabian Edwards, Aaron Jeffrey. Two title bouts to finish off the night. Patricio Pitbull, Jeremy Kennedy, Corey Anderson, and Carl Moore. The GOAT is back. I'm talking about the one, the only, Patricio Pitbull, right here in Belfast. Patricio Pitbull has at times appeared to be a rabid dog. Pitbull, very heavy-handed. Oh! Oh, this fight is over! Patricio Pitbull makes Bellator history! Jeremy Kennedy! Without a doubt, the best physical shape of his career, and he knows the task at hand. He is ready for this fight. He knows what he's facing. He gets taken down by Jeremy Kennedy. Jeremy Kennedy feeding some right hands. All right, let's talk about this co-main event. I sent Dan Hardy up to oversee the weigh-ins because we need a fighter on stage just in case anything pops off. But let's talk about this co-main event. Jeremy Kennedy is a massive featherweight. I mean, he's almost six feet tall. He's got a reach advantage here. He's got to be real careful about his weight cut, but I know that went well. Does he have a shot to pull off the upset? I, I think he does. You know, Jeremy's been around for a long time. He's waited for this title shot for a long time, and he's been in there with some of the best. Pitbull's coming off two losses. He's angry. He wants to make a statement on Friday night, so this I don't think this fight's going to go to the distance. I tell you what, those two losses, they've been eating at Pitbull, but it's not just the losses, it's the way that the conversation around him has changed because of those losses. He hasn't tasted victory inside of a cage in more than a year. But that last fight he took on like three days notice. He was supposed to be part of our PFL versus Bellator champs versus champs card. That ended up falling through. So he's been in camp repeatedly. He's in great shape. 
and he's got Jeremy Kennedy tomorrow night. Defending familiar territory, he is the king of the Bellator featherweight division, and he intends to remain so. Without further ado, let's get these fighters weighed in. For that, we send it over to Andy Shepard. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, welcome everyone here to the SSE Arena in Belfast, where tomorrow night we will see the dawn of a new era as the Bellator Champions Series commences. We'll see all the athletes up here in just a moment, but I need to welcome up Dan Hardy. Just in case things get a little spicy up here, we've got some backup. Now all that's left to do is weigh in our fighters. First fighters of the scale, this again, an amateur catchweight bout. Nate Kelly and Jordan Elliott. Introducing first, in the blue corner, fighting out of Belfast, Northern Ireland, Jordan Elliott. Official weight for Jordan, 129.5 pounds. And his opponent in the red corner, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, Nate Kelly. <laughs> Official weight for Nate, 129.1 pounds. That will be our first bout of the evening. A little spiciness already between these two. From there, the action continues at heavyweight. The one and only Abraham Babley and Isaiah Pinson. Introducing first, fighting in the blue corner from Las Vegas, Nevada, Isaiah Pinson. A fissile weight for Isaiah, 242 pounds. And his opponent in the red corner, fighting out of London, England, Abraham Babli. A fissile weight, 257.4 pounds for Babli. I am not exaggerating when I tell you that these two individuals are what the future of the heavyweight division looks like. Both of these men, phenomenal athletes, undefeated thus far in their mixed martial arts careers. Main eventers eventually, Abraham Babley and Isaiah Pinson. From there, the card moves to a catchweight contest. Nathan Kelly, representing Ireland, Vikas Singh Ruhil, making the trip all the way from India. Nathan Kelly, one of the proud representatives of that Team SBG in Ireland, rising star. And next up in this bout, fighting out of the blue corner from Delhi, India, Vikas Singh Ruhil. Official weight, 147 pounds. And his opponent fighting out to the red corner from Dublin, Ireland, Nathan Kelly. Official weight, 146 pounds for Kelly. Leah, one thing we got to remind people sometimes about Nathan Kelly is how well-rounded he is, but he's on a nine-fight winning streak. 
He started his career with a couple of losses. He's been undefeated since. Totally new fighter. Yeah, his, his last performance, you know, he headlined the three arena in Dublin. It was a fantastic performance. He, he has grown so much in his grappling. He's, he's got killer instinct. He jumps into missions. And this is what he's going to need to do on Friday night. Nathan Kelly, Bacas, Singh, Ruhil. Up next, light heavyweight contest between Luke Trainer and Grant Neal. Introducing first, in the blue corner, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Grant Neal. Official weight 205.4 pounds for Neil. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner from Stevenage, Hertfordshire, England, Luke Trainer. <laughs> 203.8 pounds for Trainer. I mean, the visual here kind of tells the story, Leah. You've got a six foot six inch. Now, this is a massive light heavyweight, but Neil, former All American football player, packs a lot of power. A great matchup. Yeah, and I think he's going to down, so he might have, it might be a little bit better that he's got shorter. He can get underneath him, but he you know, looks extremely well rounded as well. He's moved to top team and he's uh, coming up. He's had two rear naked chokes, and I think that if, he do, if Neil does take him down, he will be a handful on the ground. Next bout will take place in the lightweight division. Alfie Davis, Oscar Owensworth. Up first in the blue corner, fighting out of Sheffield, England, Oscar Owensworth. Official weight up 155 pounds on the dot for Oscar. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner from London, England, Alfie Davis. Official weight 155.6 pounds for Davis. For Davis, this is a tenth trip to the Bellator cage, but, but Owensworth is red hot. He's on an eight fight unbeaten streak. Seven of those wins, one of those obviously a no contest. This guy is red hot. Yeah, you know, he hasn't fought that consistently in a long time. He'll probably be looking to make a big statement. His nickname is the Axeman, because he does do, you can see on stage, this fancy kick. So I'm sure he'll be flying about the cage on Friday. From there, we go to a bantamweight contest featured on our undercard here, Kieran Clark and Darius Muff. Up next, fighting out of the blue corner from Manchester, England, Darius Muffy. Official weight 135.3 pounds for Darius. And his opponent fighting out to the red corner from Drug Day Island, Kieran Clark. <laughs> Official weight 135.5 pounds for Kieran. 8 0 for a reason, Leah. Kieran Clark, a lot of people think, has a title future here in the Bellator cage. Yeah, he's shown uh, so much progress during his Bellator career, and 
Darius has never been out of the first round. Kieran has shown time and time again he can come back from a tough first round. He can weather the storm and really grind out a win. So it'll be interesting to see if Darius comes out fast on Friday. Next fight will take place at 155 pounds. Tim Wilde, Manuel Sosa. Up first, in the blue corner, fighting out of Fortaleza, Brazil, Manuel Souza! <laughs> Official weight, 155.6 <laughs> pounds for Manuel. <laughs> and his opponents fighting out of the red corner from Wolverhampton, England, Tim Wild. <laughs> Official weight 155 pounds for Wild. Yeah, there's a massive experience difference here. Wild has more than double the amount of fights that Souza does, but Manuel is undefeated so far. Leandro Igo! <laughs> Official weight 145.1 pounds. And his opponent in the red corner, fighting out of Straban, Northern Ireland, James Gallagher! Huge grudge match. There's been bad blood between uh, James and the Pitbull team for a long time. Um, Leandro's been looking for this fight and it's finally here. Both submission specialists. It's definitely going to, the, going to the clinch quickly. And you can see the intensity here in the stare down. <laughs> Neither of these guys want to be the first one to back up to look away. That's a fun one, setting us up for what we're really here for, a number one contender fight at middleweight. The winner of this squares off against Johnny Evelyn for the middleweight strap. Fabian Edwards and Aaron Jeffrey. Up first, fighting out of the blue corner from Tillersonburg, Ontario, Canada, Aaron Jeffrey. Official weight 185.2 pounds for Aaron Jeffrey. And his opponent in the red corner fighting out of Birmingham, England, Fabian Edwards. Official 
weigh 185.6 pounds for Fabian. final word this is the man that stands between you and a middleweight title opportunity any final words for fabian edwards no i don't give a shit about this man it's all fake until the bell rings okay uh fabian let me open the ground to you it's all fake until the bell rings is he gonna find out how fake it is tomorrow night no you'll see you know the way he's locked in there with you know what i mean so tomorrow i look forward to that forward pressure that i said gonna bring so i welcome it i welcome it Right, middleweight number one contender match tomorrow night. Fabian Edwards against Aaron Jeffrey. A co main event that happens to be for featherweight gold Patricio Pitbull and Jeremy Kennedy. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner from Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of sorry, British Columbia, Canada, Jeremy Kennedy. Official weight, 145 pounds for Kennedy. And his opponent in the red corner, fighting out of Natal, Rio Grande de Norte, Brazil. He is the Bellator featherweight champion, Patricio Pitbull. Official weight, 145 pounds for Patricio Pitbull. And he carries the belt into the weigh-in for a reason. This is Patricio's division. Until somebody can claim it from him, Jeremy Kennedy says he is the right man to do it. And you can see the size difference here, Liam. Yeah, there's a huge uh, size difference. I think Jeremy Kennedy's going to try and keep that range and use that to his advantage on Friday night. But Pitbull's a dog. He's an animal. He's used to this. He's had the experience of taller fighters. He's fought everyone and anyone. Jeremy, I just want to grab a, a quick word with you. This is the Bellator Champion Series. Tomorrow night, you have the opportunity to become a champion. What is your mindset going into this huge contest? I'm laser focused. You know, this is it. His time's done. This is my time now. Okay. Champ, you're back at the weight that suits you so well. He says your time is done, but will you still be champion after tomorrow night is done? I'm going to show here and everyone who is the king. Patricia Pitbull, please, he will be the king. He has to face Jeremy Kennedy tomorrow night for the Bellator Featherweight Championship. Our final bout of the evening tomorrow. 205-pound contest for the gold belt. Corey Anderson and Carl Moore. Introducing first in tomorrow night's main event in the blue corner, fighting out of Belfast, Northern Ireland, Carl Moore. <laughs> Carl Moore, you can hear even here at the weigh-ins, the pop. He will be the fan favorite in a uh, pack of weight, 204.6 pounds. <laughs> and his opponent in the red corner fighting at the Robbinsville, New Jersey, by way of Rockton, Illinois. It's Corey Anderson. Leah, it's almost crazy to me that Corey Anderson has not held the belt. He's fought everywhere. He's beat some really good guys, myself included. <laughs> this is the first opportunity. Uh, Fisher weighs 204.6 pounds. For him to try and claim a vacant 205 pound strap. Nemkov stepped up to heavyweight. The king will be crowned tomorrow night. Yeah, you know, Corey, Corey is, is much the favorite tomorrow night, but I really believe Carl Moore, this is his time to shine. He's a Belfast boy. He's the king of Belfast. He's going to prove that on Friday. Carl 
Oh, let me just grab a moment with you. Huge night ahead of you tomorrow night. Main event in your hometown and the opportunity to claim the Bellator like heavyweight championship. Are you feeling any of the pressure? Not at all. Not at all. This is 13 years of hard work. This is exactly what I wanted. This is my whole career's bleeding this moment. And it's my time tomorrow night. What makes you believe you can beat this man tomorrow night and claim this piece of gold? I don't believe I could beat Corey. I believe I could beat Animal. You put Animal in front of me on my best night, I'll take him out. Corey, let me come to you for a, a moment again. A new era for MMA. Can you finish the night with this gold around your waist? There's no other choice. Ain't no other plan. The belt coming back to the USA, baby. What do you see in this man that makes you believe you can beat him? Just another body. Time to bury him tomorrow. What a main event we have for the vacant Bellator Light Heavyweight Championship tomorrow night. That will finish our night. Light heavyweight gold on the line. A featherweight strap right before that. Sean O'Connell, we'll get just a couple more final words. I, I cannot wait. Bellator, it's a whole new era. Bellator champion series all year long, but we start in Belfast. Our first two title bouts for the rest of this year. And every one of those cards is going to have two championship fights on it. In March, we'll do it. In May, we'll do it. We'll do it again in Ireland in June. San Diego and London in September. Chicago, Illinois, we will have two title bouts on that card. Then we go back to Paris and we finish Liam McCord, Dan Hardy's going to be there. We'll have Andy Shepard and an incredible night of fights coming your way. Yeah, there's a huge uh, size difference. I think Jeremy Caddy's going to try and keep that range and use that to his advantage on Friday night. But Pitbull's a dog. He's an animal. He's used to this. He's had the experience of taller fighters. He's fought everyone and anyone. 